today it's the Halloween. And we hit the road again. Who knows? Wherever the drive goes, there's never a certainty. You just hit the road and take a turn and take another turn and roll it on. We're just going to hum hum some songs about Halloween from the old shaman universe. I don't really know any words for the modern songs, but I know the songs that come from the junctions of the seasons when the spirits are dancing in the night and when all things of life are ascending upwards. That's the autumn time and now the autumn is turning towards the winter. We had our first snow the other day. Actually, a fairly intense hailstorm from a single cloud in the middle of a blue sky, so that was interesting. Remains to be seen what sort of a winter we're up against here. So, Halloween. These are some sample sounds from the spirit world, which is non different from the world we have over here, simply a different layer or membrane of experience, triangulated in awareness, in a manner that is more basal. Horses, do you see the horses? Anyway, that was a camera flipper. We continue. The spirits are dancing on the Halloween and I still haven't found my missing uni tripod that keeps all things in a triangulated balance, so I'm having to improvise with my hat and stuff. It's probably not in proper positions here. Try that. That's. Uh, I see that we have an angle here. Maybe I'll just uh, drive at an angle so it goes properly to the camera. Maybe not. They'll pull me over again and arrest me. Thank you. So we return to the dancing spirits of Halloween from the sound that emerges from the inner space. That is the only kind of sound that really matters at the end of the day because that's a direct and straight sound of a present experience rather than a dream of past uh, or a future post or the other way around is it may happen uh, a post of past or a future dream they're really no different future is like a mirage and the past is like a shadow the present is real and in the present the causal chains connecting the past and the future are present. It's not present without mindfulness of the past and the future, certainly not. That is a sort of a focus, uh, new agey, uh, flippy floppy, anahata heart chakra, self gratifying uh, sense of presence that uh, seeks absolution by. Uh, means of escape rather than by means of reconciliation. You see, because the shadow and the mirage, they are both uh, cast from the present. They don't have a, any independent existence as such. 
from the thread of time that connects the past, present, and future. They are simply aspects or facets in the spectrum of time and existence. Time is simply a, a means of interpreting the totality of existence in segments that we can digest more easily with our tiny, puny human brains, but uh, it doesn't mean that uh, one could not also conceive of the past, present and the future together in a single fabric and uh, escape from the linear time, establish oneself in the cyclic time. Linear time exists in the ternary elemental level. Cyclic time exists in the binary elemental level. And uh, what sort of time exists on the unary and uh, uh, undifferentiated elemental levels? That again is a question for another time, not for a Halloween. Halloween is when the spirits are dancing in the air. Uh, where did I come from? All the spirits that you experience, all the eerie aerial phenomena, the shadows that seem to come to life, etc., where do they all uh, span from? What is their origination? Uh, what is their purpose and what is their destiny? Good questions for a Halloween evening. Of course, they come from the subconscious mind, from the latent impressions stored in the skull and emergent at times, latent at times, you have different phases of the germination of action, you have the uh, root, the seeds that are dormant, you have the sprouts, you have the fruits, and then you have the tummy egg that follows the devouring of those fruits of action and desire. And uh, when a sufficient amount of desires goes ungratified, then uh, wh what remains? Uh, what they call a pretas uh, or a hungry uh, predatory hosts that know nothing but the uh, form of their desire, lacking the substance to enjoy it, and wrapped in a crazy, intoxicated, self deluded grievous state of craving that only leads to suffering and that is suffering in and of itself. So they dance, but uh, when we open the tonal channels to dance with them, we are not becoming hosts to dance with the hosts, but we are rather becoming nature itself that dances with all that is of nature, offering reflections to polarize whatever phenomena is out there in the seasonal flux, as well as to reconcile ourselves to facets of our psyche that are connected uh, with the autumn, uh, with the end of fall season, with the coming of the winter. We all have a number of associated neural networks in the brain, sorted by season, sorted by sun and moon, sorted by nature, sorted by uh, summer and winter, etc., etc., sorted by male and female, all interconnected in a fairly natural fabric in the brain. Uh, and uh, it can only be accessed effectively using a similar natural template or a software for the hardware of the brain, in a manner of speaking. So let's sing and uh, do a brain boot up for the spirits of Halloween again. Boy.
how many spirits were dancing in that stream? Who counted? Who cares? It was fun anyways. That was the first part of the Halloween recording. Now I'm about there, wherever that I'm going to. So we are slowly winding up this transmission. Halloween is a good time to slow down and uh, tune in with the magnetic nature of the world. Go meet the ancestral moon. Go meet the ancient days too.